Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to upload Gmail attachment in Google Drive folder. So, my objective is that, that whenever I am going to receive a new email, automatically the attached file to it should be uploaded in my Google Drive folder. For that, we need to create an automation between these two applications with the help of Pabli Connect. Pabli Connect runs on two principles, that is trigger and action. In this process, my trigger application is going to be email parser because we are going to fetch the data of the email that we are going to receive in our Gmail account with the help of email parser. And our action application is going to be Google Drive. If you want to learn how to do this automation, then let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to upload Gmail attachments to Google Drive folder. So I want that whenever I receive a new email in my Gmail account with the attachment of a file, automatically that file should be uploaded in my Google Drive folder. For that, we need to create an automation with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, as on the screen, you can see that I have opened the website of Pabli Connect, that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign into our Pabli Connect account. But if you are a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So, as I am an existing user, I am going to sign into my Pabli Connect account. After that, you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you, in which you can see the five functions of Pabli. From which, we are going to select on Pabli Connect by clicking on Access Now. Then on a new tab, you can see the Pabli Connects dashboard is going to appear in front of you. To start an automation process, we need to create a workflow. For that, we have to click on this top right corner button that is right over here that says Create Workflow. Then a new dialog box is going to appear in front of you which is asking for a workflow name. So I am going to give a name to my workflow as Upload Gmail Attachment in Google Drive folder. After giving a name to our workflow, it is asking for us to select a folder. On the left side of my screen, you can see I have created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account. If you want to create your own folder, you have to click on this plus button right over here. So out of these folders, I am going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. For that, we have to click on this drop down arrow right over here. As you can see, these are the folders that I have created in my Pabli Connect account. As I want to save this workflow in Gmail Automations folder, so I am going to select this folder. After giving a name to our workflow and selecting the folder, we are going to click on Create in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of Upload Gmail Attachment in Google Drive folder. And you can see there are two windows in front of you. One says Trigger, another says Action. Trigger and Action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two steps. Over here, Trigger says when this happens and Action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. Whichever application you are going to choose as your trigger application, it is going to command the whole entire automation process. So in an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but multiple action step as action is going to follow the command that trigger is going to give. So firstly, we are going to set up our trigger step. For that, we have to click on this arrow right over here. It is asking for us to choose our trigger application. So as we don't have the direct connection of Gmail with Pabli Connect, we are going to use an amazing feature by Pabli that is email parser to fetch the details of the email that we are receiving in our Gmail account. So I'm going to choose my trigger application as email parser. As you can see, I've selected my trigger application as email parser and you can see over here an email is provided to us. As you can see, this is the email. We are going to use this email to connect our Gmail account with Pabli Connect so that we can fetch the details of the emails that we are receiving in a Google account in Pabli Connect. So firstly, I'm going to copy this email from here. Now we are going to open the Gmail account which we want to connect with Pabli Connect. For that, I'm going to open my Gmail account. So as you can see, this is my Gmail account and now we are going to connect this Gmail account with Pabli Connect. For that, firstly, we need to click on the settings button right over here. Now we have to click on see all settings. After that, you will be landing on the settings page of Gmail. Now from this taskbar right over here, I'm going to be selecting forwarding and POP IMAP. I'm going to select this. And over here you can see it says forwarding and over here it says add a forwarding address. So right over here in our Pabli Connect we have received a forwarding address and now we are going to paste this address to the Gmail account from which we are going to fetch the data. So I am going to open my Gmail account. Now I am going to be clicking on add a forwarding address. Then over here a new dialog box is going to appear in front of you which is asking for us to enter the new forwarding email address. So I am going to be pasting the email address that Pabli Connect has provided us. I am going to paste the address. After that, I am going to click on next. 
then you can see a new window is going to appear in front of you which is asking for forwarding email to the address that public account has provided us. I am going to click on proceed. Over here it says a confirmation link has been sent to the address that public account has provided us to verify the permission. So I am going to click on this close button right over here. Now I am going to open my public connect account and I am going to check whether we have received a confirmation link or not. For that I am going to open my public connect account can see in this automation workflow we have received a response so if i'm going to scroll down in the body text right over here we have received a link that you can see that is right over here we are going to copy this link from here and now we have to paste this link into a new tab we are going to verify the email address so i'm going to copy this link from here and i'm going to open this into a new tab and as over here it says please confirm forwarding email of the email address that I'm connecting with Public Connect to the email address that Public Connect has provided us. As it is a safe process, I'm going to click on confirm. As you can see over here it says the email that we are connecting with Public Connect may now forward email to the email address that Public Connect has provided us. That means that every time a new email is going to be forwarded on our Gmail account, automatically Public Connect is going to capture the response. But before that, we are going to open the Gmail account that we have connected with Public Connect again. Now I'm going to refresh the page. As you can see over here, it says forward a copy of incoming email to the address that we have connected right over here. I'm going to select this forward a copy of incoming email to the address that Public Connect has provided us. And then I'm going to click on save changes. Now as over here, you can see you are forwarding your email to the address that Public Connect has provided us. That means that we successfully connected our Gmail account with Public Connect with the help of email parser. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to forward a new email to the address that we have connected with Public Connect and we're going to check whether Public Connect is going to capture the response of that email or not. For that, I'm going to send a new email. So now as you can see, this is the email that I'm forwarding which says, Hello test user, greetings of the day. This is a test email and a file is attached to this email. Thank you, regards. With an attachment of a file that you can see is right over here. So I'm going to click on send to send this email. And yes, you can see right over here, we have received a new email to the Gmail account that we have connected with Public Connect. Now I'm going to open my Public Connect and I'm going to check whether Public Connect has captured the response of this email or not. For that, I'm going to open my Public Connect account. So now I'm going to scroll down. And yes, as you can see over here, Public Connect has captured the response. And over here in the body text, you can see this is the body of our email that we have forwarded. And over here to the attachment link, as you can see over here, the link of the attachment which is attached to that email is mentioned right over here. So this means that this is fully connected, Public Connect with Gmail with the help of email parser. After connecting Gmail with public edit with the help of email parser, what I want is that I want that this automation workflow should only work whenever there is an attached file with the mail so that we can upload that attached file to a Google Drive folder. For that, what we are going to do is in our action step, we are going to add a filter. This is an amazing feature by public connect. So I'm going to select my action application as filter. And for the action event, I'm going to select it as filter values. After that, I'm going to click on connect. As over here, it is asking for us to select a label. So as we have received an attachment link in the response which we have received in our previous step. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select over here the link that was given to us as an attachment link. As you can see this, as you can see this is the attached link. I'm going to select this link right over here as a selected label. And as I want that this link should exist so that this workflow should continue for that over here in the filter type, I'm going to select it as exist so that every time a new response is captured in our previous step automatically if the response have the attachment link to it and it exists only then this automation process is going to continue after that i'm going to click on save and send test request and over here we have received a response in which in the message it says condition is true so this means the condition that we have applied is true so now what we are going to do is we are going to add another action step in which i want to upload the attached file to my google drive folder for that i'm going to click on this plus button right over here and now for our action application, we are going to select it as Google Drive. So I'm going to select my action application as Google Drive. And our action event is going to be upload a file. After selecting the action application and the event, I'm going to click on connect to connect Google Drive with Public Connect. 
and then a new window is going to appear in front of you on which I'm going to click on add new connection. But if you have an existing connection, you can choose this option. Now I'm going to click on sign in with Google. Then a new window is going to appear in front of you, which is asking for a permission. I'm going to click on allow as is a safe process and my data is perfectly safe with PAPD Connect. As you can see that we have fully authorized Google Drive with Pabli Connect. Firstly, it is asking for the URL. We are going to map the data for the URL as we have received the URL of the attachment file in a previous step. So we are going to map the data. Mapping means inserting data from the previous step. So we are going to insert the data from a previous step that is right over here. As you can see, these were the previous step of our automation process. And as I've received the URL or the link of the attached file in our email parser capture email parser response. So I'm going to click on this arrow right over here. As you can see, this was the response that was captured in our previous trigger step. Over here, you can see it says attached link. So I'm going to map the link that is right over here. As I map the data right over here, the data has now become dynamic. That means every time a new response is going to be captured in our previous step, automatically the data right over here will be updated. After that, it is asking for the folder ID. So in my Google Drive right over here, you can see this is the folder that I've created in the name of email attachments folder. And I want that whenever I receive an attachment with the help of email that we've received in our Gmail account, it should be uploaded in this folder. And right over here, you can see the URL of this folder that is given right over here. And this is the folder ID right over here. So I'm going to copy this ID from here and I'm going to paste it right over here. After that, it is asking for the file name. I'm going to skip this part as I don't require this field right over here. But if you want, you can add a file name as per your requirement. After filling all the details, I'm going to click on save and send test request. As you can see that we have received a response and this is a positive response as I over here in the result status it says success. So now I'm going to open my Google Drive folder and I'm going to check whether the file that was attached to our email which we have received with the help of Gmail account is uploaded in the folder which we have created in a Google Drive account or not. For that I'm going to open my folder and yes over here you can see that a file is uploaded in our Google Drive folder. I'm going to open this file right over here. And this is the file that was attached to our email that we have received in our Gmail account. So this means that it's fully created an automation with the help of Pabli Connect. So now for all of you guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a new email to the Gmail account that we have connected with our Pabli Connect account with an attachment of a file. And I'm going to check whether that file is uploaded in this folder automatically or not. For that, I'm going to send in another email. So as you can see, this is the email that I'm forwarding to the Gmail account that we have connected with Pabli Connect, which is an attachment of a file as you can see right over here. So I'm going to click on send to send this email. So as you can see right over here, we have received the email that says, Hello dummy user 123, greetings of the day. This is a dummy, dummy email and a file is attached to this email. Thank you regards with an attachment of this file that you can see right over here. So now I'm going to open my Google Drive folder and I'm going to check whether this file that is attached to this email is uploaded into my Google Drive folder or not. For that, I'm going to open my Google Drive folder. And yes, as you can see in this folder right over here, the file that was attached to our email is uploaded in our Google Drive folder automatically as we have created an automation with the help of Pabli Connect. So this means that we successfully created an automation with the help of Pabli Connect. So now to sum up till now what we have done, I wanted that every time I receive a new email in my Gmail account with an attachment of a file, that file should be automatically uploaded into my Google Drive folder. For that, we have created an automation with the help of Pabli Connect. And these are the trigger and action steps of my automation process. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video. So not just with these applications, you can automate more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt, you can send us email on support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any queries, you can ask us queries on forum.pabli.com. And if you have any questions regarding the Pabli Connect pricing, you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.